What's up guys and welcome back to our YouTube page. If you're joining us today, this is gonna be an awesome 30 minute give or take workout for you guys, 100% body weight, so you can do it anywhere, anytime. Come along and I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Um, if you guys like this video, please do like it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. We're a small channel trying to grow um, and we wanna keep producing awesome videos like this for you guys. So if there's anything you wanna see, leave a comment below. Let's get into the workout. So. Okay, so to start off with, we're gonna do round number one, which has four different exercises in it that we're gonna run through. Then we're gonna go into more of like a Tabata, kind of burn, surf specific type of thing for a little bit. And then to finish off, we're gonna finish with a really hard core exercise that's gonna have a challenge involved. So let's get started. This is round number one, exercise number one is a single leg hip thrust. Just a quick disclaimer here, guys. I am not a trained professional in this field, and if you do this workout, please do consult with your doctor or personal trainer before trying it. So we're gonna do a good amount each side. You wanna lay flat on your back. The main thing with this exercise is your little hip bones here. You wanna keep them nice and leveled. So when as we go up, the hip thrust, this is the move, like that. We don't wanna be like that. We don't wanna be like that. We want these to stay nice and neutral. This is gonna burn the glue, a little bit of the hammy, but this whole back side of the leg is working hard. So we're gonna start, there we go, just like that. That's one, two, you're putting a lot of pressure into your heel, kind of like that. And again, the point of this is to really get your your glute and engaged and on and be literally hip thrusting <laughs> through it. So we're gonna go, I think that's seven right there. Keep your core nice and tight, hips are level, eight, Nine, ten. These are so hard for me. These are a really good one across the board. I love that it's mostly glute, but also gets your hamstring. Single leg, anything single leg, I find correlates to surfing really well. So I try and do a lot of that sort of thing. Staying in there. I think that's twelve, thirteen. Here we go. We're going fourteen, and one more with. 15. Okay, drop it down. We're going to switch to your left leg. Straighten out your right leg. Bend your left. Remember, keep your stomach and core on. Everything's nice and leveled. You don't want your back muscles doing all the work. You want your glute doing all the work here. So make sure your form stays good. That's the main thing. As one, two, hips level, three, four, Ow, this one hurts. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's nine and ten. Five more, okay? Make sure you keep really good form. One, two, hang in there. Three, glute engage. Four and five. That makes it 15. Let's come on down. Head into exercise number two. For round number one, exercise number two is a Bulgarian lunge with a rotation. Uh, I really love this one. I, this is something I do in every single workout. There's a lot of different variations to it. So what you want to do, you want to find a chair, a step. I'm going to use my Pilates reformer, something kind of at that nice knee height. We're going to go single leg, so one leg on the chair or whatever you have. Leg in front, you want to keep it nice and stable. Don't let the knee go all over the place like that. You want this to stay stable, like your knees locked in cement. What we're going to do, we're going to go down, nice and deep, and at the bottom, we're going to do a rotation, back to front and up. So that's one. So let's keep that going. Down, rotate, straight, and up. Down, rotate, and up. That's three. Here we go. Four. Get nice and low if you can, you guys. The lower you go, the better it is for you. Six. Seven, remember to keep that knee nice and stable. Don't let anything move too much. Here we go, eight. I think I need to move my leg out a little further. Nine. Ow, I'm starting to feel it. 10, we're gonna go for 15, so five more. Here we go. 11. If you're feeling the burn, it's a little too much. You can just hold it down here for the last three. If you can, hang in there, keep coming with me. Two. And one more on this leg. Oh, yeah. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna switch this to the other leg. Here we go, we're gonna start with the other leg. Really where you should be feeling this, you guys. A lot in the glute, make sure you're pressing into your heel. Nothing should be moving too much, nice and stable. The glute's really the main driver for this exercise. Down, rotate, sorry, I forgot to rotate on that last one. Here we go, this is three, and up. This is a really great one for surfing, but also just everyday life. And five, hang in there with me, you guys. Six, it's hard for me too. <laughs> Seven, keep that core nice and tight. Eight, get nice and low. Nine, ten. All right, five more. You can do it. Eleven, keep it low. Twelve, down, rotate. Thirteen. All right, one more. Everything steady. 15, nice job. Whew. Okay, uh, exercise number three for this first round is an eight point plank. So this is a core exercise. We're gonna come down onto your elbows here. Knees are gonna go back a tiny bit. Tuck that core in hard. We're gonna lift our knees off the ground just about an inch or two inches maximum. And we're gonna start with our right side. Try and keep everything really straight, no movement. One, just like you're rowing. Two, three. You should be feeling this really hard in your core, all those little stabilization muscles in there. Make sure you keep your, your back nice and straight. Nothing's moving too much. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Ooh, this one's hard. 12, 13, I'm shaking. 14 and 15. Now we're just gonna switch hands. Keep those knees off. Core is nice and tucked. Everything's staying straight. Here we go for 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, you guys. Seven, this is hard. Eight, nine. Remember, keep sucking everything into that center. 10, 11, 12. Everything's sucking in. 13, 14, and 15. Nice, come on out of that one. And we have one more to go here. Exercise number four, here we go. This is last but not least. This is a single leg reverse lunge, nice and eccentric, so really slow and controlled. This is probably my hardest one. We're gonna go single leg, standing there. Pretend like the ground is lava. You can't touch it with your other leg. You're gonna get as low as you can and straight back up all the way through that one. Sometimes it helps. I like to bring my arms forward like this. Nice and far back. There's two. This one's really hard, really great for surfing, mobility. Obviously it's hard to stay balanced. It's really hard just to go eccentrically and nice and slow and controlled. Here we go, we're going down for five. All the way through, we're going to 10 here. Hang in there, just keep everything organized. <laughs> Six, this is my hardest one by far. Seven. Eight. Oh, my ankle is on fire. Nine. And one more, you guys. Nice and slow, you got it. Should be feeling this big time in the glute. And 10. Okay. Ow. We're gonna go to other leg. So remember, keep this knee from doing that, you wanna keep it nice and straight. That glute's really making everything happen for you. So we're gonna go nice and slow down. There's one, all the way up. Back down again. That's two. Here we go for three. This is really a hard exercise too, so be nice to yourself if it feels hard, or you can't get it, or you use your other leg from time to time. It takes a while to to understand and get good at. So here we go for five, all the way up. Remember, keep that core really nice and tight. Everything solid. Six, four more. Seven. Oh, 
eight. Some more, you guys. Oh, geez. Nine. <laughs> and one more here. You got it. Woo. Ten. Okay, so we've completed one round of the first round. So we're gonna go straight back to the start. Round number two. Let's go for it. Please remember is the single leg hip thrust. Get the glute on, get the hammy on, weight in the heel. Remember, keep these nice and level. We're not letting our pelvis and hips move all over the place. We're gonna go a little quicker here. So this is for 15. So that's two. Use that glute to really get those hips up. That's the whole idea. There's four. Five, keep that core on, everything nice and tight and tucked. We like good, good form. There's seven, eight, nine. God, these never get easier. 10, <laughs> five more here, 11, 12, 13, 14, and one more. 15. Nice. Bring it down. We're going to switch to our other leg. Everything nice and locked in. Core is on. Hips are level. Here we go. One, two, three. Good job, you guys. Four, five. Don't get sloppy. Six. It's easy to at this point in the game. It's seven, eight. Keep using that glute to drive up. There's 10, five more. 11. Ow. Almost there, two more. 14. 15. Ouch. Okay, nice job. We're gonna head back over to our Bulgarian lunge with rotation. So you go back to your seat, your step, whatever you have. Remember, keep everything nice in the line. Keep that knee like it's in cement. We're not moving all over the place. Here we go, we're gonna go down, twist, forward, and up, there's one. Down, twist, forward, and up, there's two. Remember, this all stays nice and solid. The only thing that's moving at that bottom part is your upper body for the quick twist. Everything else is just nice and supportive. Very good, that's six, I think. Seven. Eight, hang in there. I know the burn is feeling real. Nine, should be feeling it big time in that glute. That's where I'm feeling it. 10, ouch, 11, we're going to 15. 12, good job. 13, Woo. 14, one more here, and we're gonna switch legs. 15, ouch. All right, switch legs. You guys are rolling through this. Good, good job, hang in there. Here we go, ready? Down, twist, forward, and up. There's one. Down, twist, two. These are good ones. They never get old, let me tell you. I've been doing them my whole life. And they still hard. That's, that's five right there. Here we go, 10 more guys. Seven, keep that core nice and locked in. Eight, nine, 10. Oh yeah, ten, five more, here we go. Don't lose that form. Hang in there with me. Here we go, that's 12. 13, 14, one more. And 15, Ooh. okay. Ouch. <laughs> okay, number three, remember, this is that eight point plank row. So super big on the core. We don't wanna let our hips move too much. All our, our energy is going into the center of our body. So we're going in hard here with our elbows and in hard with our knees. So a lot of tension in the core area. This is a really great one. It just makes you feel solid. So on our knees, on our arms, move your knees back a tiny bit, lift them. An inch to two inches off the ground. Back is nice and straight, nice and straight. Hips are level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, here we go, 13, one more, or two more, 14, and 15. Just switch arms, put everything else up, engage your core, back nice and straight. Here we go, one, two, three, this is getting hard guys, hang in there, four, good job. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, hang in there, 10, five more to go. One, two, just say 13, 14, one more, 15. Ouch. Good job, okay, last one in this set. That single leg, eccentric, high five, because we both deserve it. Okay, reverse lunge. I don't like this one, but we gotta do it. Um, we're gonna go for 10 on this, so let's start on this left leg, ready? Everything nice and solid. This glute and the hammy are really making everything happen for us here. Core is good. Everything's tucked in. Here we go for one. Oh yeah. Two. Three. Good job, you guys. Four. Almost halfway there. Five, here we go, five more. Keep everything nice and tight. Six, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling it. Out, seven. Okay, two more. Nine, oh, it's floppy. Ten. Switch to the other leg. Here we go, let's finish strong, you guys. Straight into it. One, keep that knee solid. Two, I'm getting a little sloppy, so I apologize. This is hard for me to, three, four, five. Here we go, five more. You got it, six, almost there. Seven, keep your form good. Don't get lazy. Eight. Oh, touch the lava. Nine, one more. Ten. Whew. Okay, that is the first round. We're gonna go into set number two. Let's do it. Okay, awesome guys. Uh, well done in that first set. We're on to set number two. And this one is gonna burn, but it's so good for you. What we're gonna do is three different exercises. So the first one is gonna be split jumps or lunge jumps. Second one is gonna be squat jumps, regular jumps. And the third one is gonna be skater jumps. So side to side, I'll demonstrate all of them. There's no rest in between. So we're gonna go 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. At the end of the first set, we're gonna have a 40 second rest. Then we're gonna get back into it. So three times through total. I'm gonna put this right here. Start our 30 seconds in three, two, and one, here we go, just like this. Nice and low, remember keep, uh, keep everything nice and tight, your core is on, make sure your knees aren't wobbling all over the place. We're gonna go to 30 seconds, so that's already 15 seconds there. Hang in there, get that explosion. This gives you that nice pop, here we go, three, two, and one, 30 seconds. Now we're gonna just regular squat jumps. Here we go. You can get as low or not low as you want. I'm sure a lot of you can get lower than I am, but this is where I'm at right now. Hang in there, the burn is gonna get real, trust me. If it hasn't already, it is coming. Another five seconds, team. Three, two, one, last one, skater jumps. Hang in there. Just side to side here. Oh, it ain't easy. Here we go, another 15 seconds. Then we're gonna get a 40 second break. Hang in there. Good 
squat. Hang in there, come four, three, two, and one. 40 seconds. Hard to talk. Okay. Good job, you guys. That one's hard. No breaks is really hard. So, we're gonna have another 20 seconds, then we're gonna do it again. And then we're gonna have another break, and then we're gonna do it again. And then we'll be done. Okay. 10 seconds. We're headed back to that lunge jump. Remember the very first one? Here we go. Three, two, one. Hang in there, you guys. Now you can do it. You look good, feel good, and search it. More seconds on this one. There we go. We're gonna do a regular jump now. Squat. Uh, try not to lose your form. It's really easy to get sloppy here but really important to stay locked in with your core, not compensate. I don't even know where I started. Um, I think another 15 seconds, guys. Hang in there. In five, four, we're gonna go to skaters. Three, two, and one, skater jumps for 30 seconds. Here we go. Hang in there. That's uh, another 15 seconds. 10. You got it. Nice big break after this, three. Two and one. Take a break. 40 seconds rest, then we're gonna do it one more time. I'm not jumping well. Okay, that's 20 seconds. Goes by really quick. Another 20 seconds, and we're gonna start it from the top. But this the good news is this is the last time we're gonna do these plyos in this set today. So finish strong. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Oh, never gets easier, let me tell you. These are really great. These are awesome for performance, awesome for your overall fitness. Here we go, ready? Three, two, and one. Here we go, last set, we can do it. Come in there. This one good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Squat jumps. Ready? Remember to keep being nice and tucked on this one. Don't get lazy. Keep your form good. Hang in there. You can do it. We're almost to the end. Ten seconds. Ooh, I know I burned the wheel. Three. We're gonna go with skaters in two. And one. Skater down. Last one. Let's go. One. Good job, you guys. One more seconds. Please. Good job, everyone, if you made it through that one. I almost didn't. Okay, that was killer. There's the burn. We have one more thing. Collective challenge. 
is how long you can plank until you drop. So zero judgment here whatsoever. We all are gonna have different times, different strengths. But the idea is just to personally push yourself. So whatever your time is, that's awesome for you. Give us, uh, give us a comment if you wanna write in what your time was. Let us know in the comments below. You can look back on it in a month and see if you've beat it by then. If you don't and you do it at home and you just wanna keep it to yourself, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Here we go for the plank, ready? I got my timer. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, that was pretty hard, guys. Well, I've been working out too, you know, but that was, that was not easy. So good job on getting to the very end. We're on our last plank challenge here. I don't know what I'm gonna get to here, but I've got to 23 seconds so far, so that's good. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for a minute. I might be able to prevail a little bit longer, but I don't know. There's 40 seconds if you're still with me. Oh, thank you guys for joining me today. That was super fun. If you like these videos and you want more of them, please let us know. I'm happy to make more. If you want to see something specific or have a specific workout, let me know what you guys might like to see. And I'll do my very best to, uh, yeah, make a video about it. Ow, that's a minute and five seconds. I haven't done just like a regular plank hold for a long time. If you're still with me, we're at a minute and 15. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm going to stop in 10 seconds. Ready, I'm going to 135, four, three, two, and one. One minute, 30 seconds. Good job, you guys. Thank you for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments if you liked it or if you didn't like it. Let us know what your record was for your plank and um, what you might want to see more of with how I train or if you like more of these videos, um, I'm happy to make them. So please let us know, give it a big thumbs up if you like the video and we'll see you very, very soon. Have a great day.